Credit for this video goes to a watcher, someone who commented on the video I did last week about the, about the water mist. Um, his handle, he goes by M, capital M, space, capital E. I as assume those are his initials, and he wishes to be anonymous. But his comment, M.E.'s comment was, in the water mixture, um, add baking soda. I don't know the ratio, how much baking soda, but he said to mix some baking soda with warm water into this solution and it would help prevent rust corrosion. I think that's a great idea. I did a little bit of research online and lo and behold, absolutely. Uh, it does prevent rust. So thank you, uh, M.E., for making that comment, getting me out to my shop to, uh, to tweak this a little, to work on this a little bit more. So that's one thing I'd like to do. I'm going to add some baking soda to, to the water mixture. Another thing is I don't like this water here on the VFD, the variable frequency drive. I want to move it off there. So also today, I'm going to make a little shelf that will rest on this French cleat and then put this on the shelf away from the grinder. Um, but it'll still be above to allow that, uh, allow gravity to feed that water. So yes, those are the two tasks for today. Let's get to it. Welcome to the wood shop. It's a site you, you don't see very often. Um, so this is I wouldn't say a template, but this is one of the, the little shelf pieces that I use all over the shop whenever I do a shelf. For example, um, if we look over here, all of these, we've got a Ryobi charging station, we've got some, a bunch of Ryobi tools. They're all on these French cleats, uh, these little hangers here. And then the shelf goes right on top. It's super easy to do. So, put the shelf in there. Uh, by the grinder, I'm gonna do two of these. I'll probably uh, glue and, uh, and, and pin a top on here just so it's a little more stable. Okay, so for the material, I'm just going to use some, some uh, scrap three-quarter inch plywood. And uh, boy, that's, that's already a good size. I'll use this part for the top, for the shelf, and then this part for the legs. So here we go, we got the air supplied to the new unit that I installed last week, which feeds now a baking soda and water mixture to the grinder. And then also today, we made a little shelf for the tomato juice bottle with the water. Thanks, Emmy, for the comment again, really appreciate it. Um, for the record, just so you guys know, I put two tablespoons of baking soda in that solution of warm water. 
Now, I don't, actually, I don't know if it's a solution or a mixture. Do I have to, <laughs> please let me know. Do I have to keep mixing it up every time I want to use it? Uh, or is it now a solution so that I can just go for it? Or should I just not even worry about it? But uh, once again, appreciate all your, your comments. Um, I appreciate your suggestions. I'm learning here, and I'm learning faster uh, with, with good viewers who participate. So thanks again. Take care.